Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We have a ton of fun here and for all of my other awesome listeners, thank you for listening every day. I know you have so many different options to listen from, but parents, thank you for inviting our stories into your home, into your cars, and into sleepy time. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. All right. I just need a few more of these and then it will look so cool, said Owen. He was building a maze for his hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hamster try to walk through a maze before? Yeah, maybe you put its favorite food at the end of the maze and they <laughs> sniff their way through the maze. Have you ever been inside of a maze where you can actually walk around? Whoa, like a, a corn maze. Have you ever heard of those before? Yeah, sometimes farmers take their cornfield and they cut a path through the, the cornfields and you can wander through the maze. It's really fun. And so I can understand why a hamster would have a lot of fun walking around in that maze looking for that delicious snack waiting for him at the end. Well, you see, today's story is actually not a lot about Owen and his twin brothers, Aiden and Jack. Owen was building this amazing course, this maze, for their hamster. But meanwhile, across the room, inside of another enclosure, were two lizards that had been planning for weeks their uh, attempt to go on a real adventure outside of their enclosure. Hey, you, you keep an eye on over there, because I, I think it's almost time for when Owen changes our water... Oh, yes, I'm definitely ready. We're not going to mess up this town. You're going to be the first one to jump out, and then I will be right behind you. <laughs> These two lizards had been friends with Owen for a very long time. He had a lot of pets in his house. Uh, the lizards and the hamsters and, and even more. And these two lizard friends were right. It was almost time for Owen to come and change their water, which meant that the the top lid was going to be opened, and that was going to be their chance to sneak out and go on a crazy adventure. What do you think he's working on over there? He's been building that thing for a very long time. I don't know, but I think he's coming. How? The two lizards ducked underneath some uh, of the leaves and, and hiding places that were inside of the enclosure. As Owen opened up the top lid, he grabbed the water bowl and walked over to the bathroom to fill it up with some new, fresh, clean water. Now's our chance. Let's go. All right, I'm, uh, I'm at the top. Here, grab my tail. I'll pull you up. As the first lizard was sitting on the edge, he uh, draped his tail down, kind of like a rope, for the other lizard to grab onto and pull himself up. But it was a little hard for him to hold onto the tail, and then Owen came back from the bathroom. Turner, you run for it! Go without me! The second lizard let go of his friend's tail, <laughs> which sent him flying back into the enclosure, and the other lizard flying out of the enclosure! Oh my... Help! Oh, where am I? As Owen brought the water bowl back into the enclosure and closed the lid, we now had... The two lizards separated from each other. Dun, dun, dun! As the lizard picked himself up off the ground after that very big jump from his enclosure, he, he looked around. Wow, it looks like I'm in a different world. 
Uh, these walls are so tall, and how do I get out of here? As he started walking around, he, he got very lost. It was like he was inside of a maze. Uh-oh. It feels like I just keep walking in circles and circles and circles. This is like the fifth time that I've seen this same place. He licked the ground and realized that he had definitely been here before. Yep, I that tastes like me. I've I've been here before. It's like this. It's like a what are those things called? And just then he heard a sound. A scurrying, scratching sound that sounded like a giant furry monster. What was that sound? I've never... And just then, Owen's hamster stuck his head out from the corner. The lizard and the hamster looked right at each other. Uh Uh-oh. I gotta get out of here! The lizard started running around inside of the maze. You see the lizard had accidentally jumped out of the cage and into the hamster maze. And the hamster was in there chasing him behind. It was absolutely chaos. You see this lizard thought that he had jumped into some kind of like death trap. who was stuck inside with this furry beast. It was only a hamster. But from the lizard's perspective, it was ginormous. I gotta get out of here. (sighs) He started to climb up the side of the wall of the maze, hoping that he could get out. And he jumped out just in time as the hamster ran past him. Oh dear, this this world is not, not a safe place. I gotta get back to my home. The lizard ran back towards his enclosure and climbed up the side just as Owen was walking past. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, little guy. Where do you think you're going? You gotta get back in your home. He picked up his lizard and put him back inside of the enclosure. How did you get out in the first place? Holy smokes, I'm glad you didn't run into the hamster. He would have gone crazy with you, said Owen. As the lizard was now back in his home, his friend was there waiting for him. So it alive! Tell me everything! What is it like out there? Did you have fun? Was it exciting? Should we do it again? <laughs> that was terrible! We're way safer in here than outside in that wild. There was a giant furry monster that tried to eat me! No way! That's insane! Holy smokes, I'm so glad that you're back home. And you didn't get eaten by that giant furry monster. And that was the day that Owen's lizards learned that they should not jump out of that enclosure. (laughs) Even though it was just that hamster maze that he fell into, I think it was a very scary experience for a little lizard to be chased around by a giant furry hamster. (laughs) The end. Hey, Barons, Mr. Jim here to tell you why our kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Ever since Osmo sent us our Genius Starter Kit, thanks, Osmo, it's become the kids' favorite games to play with at home. The best part is how well they're designed to actually encourage learning in a way that's really exciting. I've honestly never seen my kids pick up new skills as fast as they are after playing with Osmo. You see, Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys that interact with an immersive digital experience. So don't just watch, but play along with your kids and have a blast playing games that explore math, puzzles, art, reading, and more. The Genius Starter Kit comes with a base and a reflector that fits most iPad models Available at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo. Learning well played. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to the Shoreshim Preschool in Cleveland, Ohio. Jolene from Vancouver Island, Canada. Maddie from Washington, Nicholas from Geneva, Illinois, Theodore from Montana, Alex and Tommy from Connecticut, Jenny from Tennessee, 
Ilva from Maryland, and Arthur and August from Kansas City, Missouri. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you next time. Bye!